Oh my God, what can I do? The December algorithm just absolutely tanked my business. What can I do? Help! That has been the tone that I've been seeing rolling around in the Facebook groups uh, on search engine optimization over the last couple days. Posts like this one that you see right here on my screen, just with people posting charts saying, what can I do? And the chart showing a major drop in traffic. This one's odd because it spiked and then it dropped. Uh, but there's another drop. There's, these ones aren't too hard to find. Something happened right here in a drop. I mean, you can just find the groups just overflowing with all these claims. So let's talk about what you can do to fix your website or prevent this from happening. Because I'll tell you, I've got a few websites out there. None of them experienced any drop in traffic whatsoever. And that's because I stick to a few basic SEO principles. So let's open up a Google Doc. Let's talk about it. Number one, publish good content. It is all about content here, right? And you see in red right below it, rehashed affiliate bullshit does not count as good content. You're, you know what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about those websites that are like the seven best X for Y products that were written by somebody that doesn't even care about the product or even if they do, they've never used it. So you basically just got a bunch of rehashed affiliate bullshit or you've rehashed other people that are writing about the products or whatever the topic is that have no actual one firsthand experience with it. You got to publish good content. And if you do that, publish good content for real people, you will be rewarded. You don't see quite instantaneous results, right? It's easier and faster to hack your way to the top, but that stuff will not stand the test of time. So, uh, you know, going forward, delete or update your current content. If you got a lot of content out there, delete the stuff that's garbage, update what's maybe ranking and doing well at this point. Focus on publishing good content. This stuff, you know, will not fix you overnight. You can't just delete some posts, update some other ones, and bing, bang, boom, you're back at the top again. It doesn't work like that. You have to stick to these principles for months or years on end. Number two, make your site for the end user, okay? I always say the new SEO is no SEO, and I've been saying this since Penda, Penda, <laughs> Penguin and Panda rolled around in 2012 or whenever, back then, almost 10 years ago. Make it, make your site for the end user, not for search engines. Publish good content on a high traffic topic. The rest will all come together. Make your site user friendly. Make sure it loads fast on mobile. Maybe move, upgrade the server, right? Make sure you're using caching plugins. All of that stuff, right? Write for real people. This goes back to publishing good content. I don't consider keywords at all when I'm doing SEO. No keywords whatsoever. I look for a topic. You know, naturally there's gonna be some high volume keywords if you get a high volume topic. But my pieces are all written on topics in solving a problem or informing the audience that's looking for information on that topic, not keywords. It is all done for the end user. Then promote your content to real people here. Everyone likes to go out there and build backlinks. And a lot of times that is what causes websites to tank or not tank, but that that's a big uh, signal. Phony backlinks or non-organic non-authentic backlinks is a big signal in your rankings. Backlinks are a big signal still, no matter how we slice and dice it, but bad ones or fake ones or unnatural ones can hurt, right? So don't build backlinks. That's what I'm saying. Just promote your content to real people, right? If you have an email list, email out to your email list, share it on Facebook, spend some money boosting your post. You're not boosting it, but running ads. So I've got a blog post where I've explained my whole process on this and it's called the SIS method. Oh, I've also got a video on it too. So I've got a video on it, but anyways, here's my blog post on the whole thing explaining the entire process, how to build a, co a community around your website and, well, your content, right? And promote it to real people. It's all about promoting it to real people. And if you do this, you will organically pick up backlinks. So promote your content to real people. I should come in here and just say, forget about backlinks. Boom. Now that's added. Okay. And then finally, diversify your traffic sources. Stop relying so much on Google. There was a post that somebody said it made in one of these groups, and maybe it was this one. I don't know if it was this post right here, but somebody posted on there like, why is Google doing this to legitimate businesses? And my reply to that was legitimate businesses 
aren't reliant on Google. They've got multiple streams, multiple sources of customer acquisition. Okay, so if you're running a website, you need to start looking for other sources of customer acquisition besides Google. If you're solely reliant on Google, you don't have a business. You've basically got, you know, a little leech that's piggybacking on Google, right? So if that's where your little leech is right now, if you own a leech and not a business, you need to start looking for other traffic sources, Pinterest, YouTube, um, Facebook, Instagram, those are difficult, uh, TikTok, I don't know anything about TikTok, but I know some people out there pulling traffic from it. And more so, moreover than that, paid advertisements. Most of my revenue in online businesses and local businesses comes from paid advertisements. Why? They're scalable. If I want more of it, all I got to do is spend more money and then I get more return. More money in comes out more money when you've got it set up right. And on top of that, you don't have to wait. It's instant. And on top of that, you don't have to rely on algorithms because Google doesn't want you piggybacking off of their free traffic. They certainly want to make money on it. So they're going to slowly, you know, try to phase you out. Facebook has done the same thing with pages. Um, I don't know what Pinterest has done, but I'm sure if they haven't done anything yet, it's going to be coming, right? So organic is not something that is a relying, reliant strategy, unless it's branded organic, unless you've got a bunch of people typing in, you know, yourwebsite.com directly. That's great. That means you've built up a great brand uh, reputation, recognition. You've built up strong brand recognition, but most online businesses do not have that, at least not the ones that are looking for information on this Google update, because the businesses that do have that, like mine, I will proudly say like mine, and you know, for those of you guys that don't know, I own local home service companies on top of some online businesses. So one of them here is Gulf Coast Aluminum. And this company, most of their traffic comes from people typing in Gulf Coast Aluminum. We get a ton of traffic from other sources as well or other keywords, but people are typing in our brand name. We've built up a solid brand name and we can exist on that organic alone, but we cannot exist, you know, on organic keywords. And, you know, while I'm showing you the example of a local home service business, the same thing fundamentally applies for websites like, you know, in the home service world, Home Advisor. Home Advisor right there is a big uh, kind of lead gen portal, customer referral source in the world, but they've built up a brand. There are probably millions of people a month, maybe not millions of people, but hundreds of thousands at least that type Home Advisor in. You know, if they lost all their other organic rankings, they would still have a business. So keep that stuff in mind. Uh, diversify your traffic sources. So I know this stuff sounds incredibly simple and you're probably like, wait, I want the hacks. Look, there are no hacks to building a time-tested online business. This is what you got to do if you want to be in the content publishing business and get organic traffic from Google and build a business that will stand the test of time. Follow these principles, publish good content, make your site for the end user, promote your content to real people, and then diversify your traffic sources. And in the long term, you will win the game. And if you do this consistently, you will recover from the penalties that you have. All right, so that's a wrap on this. If you want more marketing insight and some of my experiments, I run a lot of paid ad experiments and share them in videos. Look for my Facebook group, No Bullshit Marketing. There'll be a link somewhere around this video player. Join the group. Uh, well, that's a wrap on this video and I'll see you on the inside.